We finally did it, boys. First woman to go to jail for false accusations against a man for SA. If you didn't know, Lil Durk's homeboy was messing around with this woman called FTM Bay. Because they broke up, she decided to go on internet and claim that he did unspeakable things to her son. Doctors deemed that that was false and therapists said that the child was lying or being coached by the mom. The mom later came out and admitted this and she messed up by doing that because he then countersued her for $11 million. She then died, tried to backtrack in court and even lie under oath and that backfired against her. Now she was sent to jail and he is awarded $11 million. If you guys remember the shade room, all those girls and all over the internet were saying that he did it and wanted him in jail. This should be proof to you men out there that there is a way and there is a will to put somebody in jail for false accusations about SA. I'm happy that he won. In all honesty, I don't think that's enough. She could have ruined this man's life. I personally think that if we can prove without a shadow of a doubt that you lied about something like this, you should have to do the amount of time that person would have done. So I got my mom this hat. Fuck you, Anthony. It's a joke. You told me it was a fucking ice cream but company. Wore it everywhere. Anthony! I like your hat. Thank you. Stop filming. Okay, sorry. Does she know what that means? Emotional, damn it! Movie slash TV show is a red flag if a guy's obsessed with it. The Wolf of Wall Street. Why do you say that? The guy is obsessed with that movie. He's probably a dick. Like, he's probably a douchebag and treats women like shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, that movie was amazing. There wasn't no politics. There weren't any girl bosses or LGBTQ people forced into the plot for no reason. There was no agenda. Easily one of my top five movies in the last decade. Uh, what do you, you want? heard me. What, what do I want? Yeah, I want a V12 twin turbo Bugatti first off the line. You hear me that? You even know what that is? No, what? I don't want to hear it. Yeah, you're basic. You watch too much TV. Uh, so, <laughs> no, what? no cats are not allowed in the UK. It's not about TV. They're just not allowed here. But I know my worth. Clearly, it's not in the UK. Period. I'm not even from here. Oh. And that's on period. Can you say it in rich so I can understand you? Okay, moving on. <laughs> Why did you pop your balloon? Um, the, the pickup line didn't really make sense. When you're loaded to the freaking gills, you ain't gotta make no sense. <laughs> Why did you pop your balloon? I don't like men that talk about money too, too much. Like, we get it. You get I don't money. talk about money. I am money. I'm the cash. When I rich nigga want ya. Nick, can I eat your flower, please? Sure, I'll, you can eat my flower. If I could eat your flower. <laughs> 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 yeah, that brother's starving. Help. My boyfriend insists on knowing my body count. I have now been dating this guy for four months. Everything's going well and he ticks so many of my boxes. And he always tells me how I tick his as well. However, he keeps going on about wanting to know my body count, aka how many people I have slept with. I think it's so silly and unimportant as I really don't care what his is either. And for me, it wouldn't change anything between us or about the way I feel about him. However, he really does insist on knowing my body count as he probably has asked me six times times already what do i do now if it doesn't matter then why do you need to write in for advice why don't you just tell her the truth of the matter is she knows that it matters but when she was doing what she was doing she didn't care and now there's going to be consequences because the men you say you want are going to judge you based on your past what would happen if every girl on earth disappeared you're just really ugly thanks beauty is on the inside and inside you is just awful <laughs> It's lucky you're beautiful because there's nothing up here. What? That's me? Did you just call me dumb? For me, it's like I'm not gonna date a fuckboy. Like, I'm at that point where it's just not gonna happen anymore. What if you think he's a fuckboy, but he's a nice, nice guy? Nice guy, nice guy. Prove it. 
Like, show me. What are you doing tonight? No, I'm just kidding. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. Jenna, do you remember how we met? What, you said in her DM? No, I met you her in person. She's walking next to me, and I was just like, you are such a pretty girl. That's Aww. what I said. Oh, yeah, you were so sweet. Uh, you were really yeah. nice. You're really a lover boy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> if y'all are watching this, marry him. Yes. <laughs> Certified lover boy. He's so yeah. for real. Somebody got to check on this man. He might be dangling from a bridge. If he's such a perfect guy, then why don't you date him? I don't know who needs to hear this, but stop giving her free attention. You are in the friend zone. You're never gonna convince her that you're a good guy for her. He's actually uh, pretty prosperous. He's making close to forty thousand dollars a year. But what are you laughing at? You're I'm laughing at you? Very low income. You know what? Do, what do you think the average income is? The average minimum is a hundred thousand. Really? Make it. In California, especially too. That's like minimum wage. $100,000 is minimum wage. If this many women genuinely believe that men are just making $100,000, no wonder why women believe in a wage gap. I mean, just think about how scary this is. We have grown adults that can vote that believe that minimum wage is $100,000. I don't even understand that. Shootings are all perpetrated by men. Why don't we keep guns legal? Just make it illegal for men to own a gun. Let's try applying that faulty logic to something else. Since the majority of perpetrators of child abuse and neglect happen to be women, does that mean that women shouldn't be allowed to raise children? Now she's spitting facts, but I don't know what it is. It might be her tone, or maybe it's because she's smiling while she's talking. Either way, she's still spitting facts. Truth or dare? I'll go dare. Call someone that's in the friend zone and ask them to hook up. <sighs> okay, okay. You know who you're calling? Yeah, I actually friend zoned him like last week. And you guys um, have never? No. Okay. Hello. Hey, Ben, what are you doing? Uh, um, so you had a change of heart. Um, well, I'm not doing anything tonight, and I, I was just thinking about you, and I was wondering if you wanted to come over. Nah, I'm good, honestly. Um, yeah, nah, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, he hung up. She's a 10, but she doesn't shave. A 1. She's a 1? Yeah, she's not a traditional woman, bro. She's a gross feminist monster that the left has created. As someone who grew up very plus size and as a fat girl, I have always had to be the one who initiates with men. Men rarely come up to me. You have to initiate sex? Yes. Okay, the fat phobia like, is very real. true. It's men, very real. Men yeah. look at me, they see that I have a tummy. You say that, yet you said you've had nearly 300 sexual partners. You said yeah, 290. Yeah. But you can't say if you've had that many partners, you can't say that you've had a difficult time yes, I can. getting laid. You don't know my life, Brian. I'm 21. You're 21. But, okay, Brian. You've had 290 yes, sexual partners. But that doesn't You've I've not had... had a hard time getting laid. Women almost never get rejected. Men have just as much power to initiate or not initiate. Wait, so, men are the initiators. Not always. Yes, not always, but overwhelmingly, men have to initiate. I That's think not true. Okay. She has low self-esteem and she's insecure because she's a bigger girl. And instead of just going to the gym, she's gonna try to cure her insecurities by getting male attention. And to get that attention and validation, she sleeps with them. And that's why she has more bodies than a more. 